today's topic will be cross language information retrieval uh, so this concept deals with uh, accessing documents uh, which are of different languages so uh, we know this process of accessing documents um, using different types of ir systems isn't it so we write a query and depending on the query the documents are retrieved but in today's topic we will go a little bit deeper into the topic so uh, the concept will be so in which language we are going to write the query and uh, in which language the documents are going to be see if you observe the internet today so half of the content uh, in the internet is in english and most of the queries we write are in english isn't it so we, if we use google search so 99% of us uh, use english as a language to write a query like if you are uh, searching for a book or if you are searching for um, any uh, topic online so we generally use english as a language to write the query and the content and the documents which we are looking is also in english so there is not that much problem uh, when we are uh, uh, or when the query and the documents are in the same language but if you uh, clearly observe so the other 50% of the documents or the other 50% of the uh, content of the web is in different languages isn't it so uh, we just now assume uh, assume that 50% of the content is in english so the remaining 50% will be in other languages right right like our language telugu tamil malayalam or in any indian language or even in russian language german language chinese language so there are many documents there are many uh, much content which is available in uh, other languages okay in world wide web so the question here is how we are going to access those documents which are in other languages so is there any technique or is there any approach uh, which facilitates the user in uh, retrieving the documents in other languages so here you have to understand the two important components and the relationship between these two components a query and the document so these two are uh, related to each other so using query we fetch documents and how we write query and how the data is represented in which language it, it is represented so that is the topic which we are going to discuss today okay all right so this topic is called as cross language information retrieval so by the title itself we can uh, know the concept right the languages um, are of different type that means the language which we used to write a query and the language which the documents are in are both different that's why we are using the word cross cross language information retrieval so which explains us how or what are the various approaches which are used to retrieve documents when they are in foreign languages or other languages so let's start our class cross language or cross lingual information retrieval refers to the retrieval of documents that are in language different from the one in which the query is expressed so it's a cross language information retrieval or cross lingual information retrieval this uh, uh, this uh, concept uh, discusses about the process of how um uh, uh, documents which are in different languages can be retrieved using a um, using a query which is written in other language so that is the main uh, focus of this 
cross lingual information retrieval uh, system so this allows user uh, to search documents document collections in multiple languages and retrieve relevant information in a form that is useful to them and even when they have little or no linguistic competence in the target languages so this uh, this concept of cross lingual information retrieval system this will help the user in retrieving the documents okay which are in the different languages so we generally uh, try to uh, like i said 99% we don't look for the other documents in other languages okay we for the purpose which we uh, or the for uh, academic purpose we just google or we just search for the documents which are in english because that is the medium in which we are learning but if you are trying to search for a german document or a document in german language so that the overall document is in german language and uh, when you try to uh, look for that book or search for the book uh, and you use english language to write a query understand or to be more so, clear to be more clear if you are trying to search for a telugu book which is totally in telugu language and we you are using google search to download or to search for that particular book okay so this this is the uh, scenario which um, we are going to discuss now so how this google search or information retrieval system is going to uh, overcome this problem so when the user writes the query in one language and the document which he or she is looking for is in other language so how the computer system or how this ir system information system will uh, overcome this problem or will uh, um, what do we say provide this facility to the uh, user so that is uh, what we will discuss and the different approaches you can see here there are many approaches um, of for instance here we are taking three approaches uh, that can be used for this scenario the first approach is query translation approach the second approach is document translation approach and the third one is interlingua based approach so these are the uh, fundamental three approaches uh, using which we can solve that problem that the problem which we have discussed right now so the query is in one language and the documents are in other language so these are the dif uh, dif uh, three different uh, approaches which are used to overcome this problem now let's see each one uh, each approach uh, in detail so let's first discuss the first approach which is query translation approach in this approach the query is translated into the language of the document many translation schemes could be possible like dictionary based translation or more sophisticated machine translations so in this approach what happens is so we know that the query language is different and the document language is different so in this approach uh, the query's language is translated into the language of the document suppose the document is in telugu and the query which we are writing is in english so if if the ir system uses this query translation approach what it will do is it will translate the english query into telugu query telugu query and it will try to search for the documents in in the website okay based on the converted query yes pavan sir in this approach a query is translated into the language in which the document is in okay so suppose the document is in tamil the query if i write the query in uh, english so that query will be converted into tamil language and the terms which are matching with the terms inside the document or it can use any ir uh, information retrieval strategy to fetch the document 
but the important thing here is the the query is translated okay and if i uh, if we see the second line the dictionary based approach uses lexical resource like bilingual dictionary to translate words from source language to target document language this translation can be done at wor word level or phrase level see uh, the answer for your uh, for your question is in second point Th this translation uses bilingual dictionary understand it uses a bilingual di dictionary uh, where it translates uh, the query into the uh, whatever the target language is there based on the words so it can perform the translation uh, uh, on word level or phrase level okay so it can it can simply pick one word each and it can translate the word or it can pick the phrases and it can translate the whole phrases into the uh, target language understand and the third point is the main assumption in this approach is that the user can read and understand documents in target language in case the user is not conversant with the target language he or she can use some external tools to translate the document in foreign language to his or her native language such tools need to be available for all language pairs okay this is just um, an assumption uh, where it is assumed that the user knows the target language understand so this is just an assumption uh, but the overall board overall thing here is uh, in whatever language you write you write in english you write in telugu you write in tamil or whatever that query is translated into the target language here tar target language is the language uh, which the document uh, is written okay so that is the thing okay this diagram will clearly explain you this query translation approach suppose if i am looking for some documents and those documents are in chinese language so this is the user or uh, she is she is trying to retrieve some chinese document but she doesn't know chinese but she know some chinese phrases which she can represent in english la language okay so uh, she knows some chinese author names and she writes those author names in english queries so uh, you can see here she is writing the queries in english and that these queries are fed into a translation system which translates the english queries into chinese queries understand and the, using these chinese queries this retrieval system will retrieve the chinese documents or the documents in chinese language understand so this retrieval system will retrieve the documents from this repository okay which are in china chinese language and this is done based on the queries received by the uh, received from the user and the user is not directly typing the chinese queries she is typing the queries in english and these queries are being translated into the target language which is chinese here and the documents or the authors or the documents which are related to the so so and so author are retrieved and again they are fed into translation system because these are in uh, chinese language these documents are in chinese do chinese language but the user doesn't does not understand chinese so they are fed again into translation system which translates the documents into english again and the results are uh, uh, the results are here and she can examine those results and these results are in english so that is the topic that is the point here um, it is in the third point it is uh, stating that if the user does not know the target language understand then the user can use any other languages or any other uh, language translators like she is doing using this one the language translator so that that foreign language or that target language can be translated into the language which can which is understood by her so that is the third point so simple thing query translation 
the queries you write in you write in your own language and you are and you are looking for the document which is in another language and the the query is converted into the target uh, language query and the documents are fetched and the documents are in the in the in foreign language that means she does not know and those documents are again translated into the language which which she, if she is familiar with and that results she can examine so this is query translation approach right so the second uh, approach is document translation here the reverse is happening here instead of translating the query the documents are translated okay this approach translates the documents in foreign languages to the query language so this is a big task see the query is simply it 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 can be in a one line or a two lines but the documents are a huge collection of data right but this up in this approach based on the query received the documents are translated this approach trans translates the documents in foreign languages to the query language so uh, the second point is although this approach uh, alleviates the problem stated above this approach has scalability issues so the, uh, this problem this uh, uh, technique or this approach may solve the the problem which we are facing in the previous approach but it has the scalability problem scalability means the size the size of the document see if the document is of just one or two pages then translating the document is not that um, what we say hard okay so if the document is of thousands of pages then translating the document whole document will be a tedious task okay there are too many documents to be translated and each document is quite large as compared to a query this makes this approach practically unsuitable so just like i said right now so the documents may be of huge size and translating those documents uh, is a big task so this this approach whatever the document translation approach is not suitable so if you see this diagram if you examine this diagram she is typing the uh, query in english but the query is not is uh, the query is not translated into a foreign language but um, so here so before examining this you have to examine this one so what is what is happening all the chinese documents are being translated into english documents so she is not accessing this uh, chinese document repository directly so all the documents in this repository are translated into english okay using the translation system and she is accessing the english documents which uh, which are of or which belongs to uh, which are originally chinese documents and she is accessing them use by writing the english queries so why we call this approach as a document document translation approach because all the foreign language documents are translated into the uh, the language which is known by this user so that's why we call it as a document translation approach so you can see this this is a huge task converting or translating each and every chinese book into a english book so this big that is why it is not suitable so this is document translation approach the final one is interlingua based approach here in this approach both the query and the documents are translated into a language which is common which is commonly used like unicode so unicode is the code which is commonly used in a computer system so in this approach we are not uh, translating the document into a query language or uh, the language in which a query is in or the vice versa right so what we are doing we are converting the two uh, languages into a common language which is used universally and which is used commonly like uh, like like english we can we can uh, take english as example see i know telugu very well and some one of my friend knows tamil very well or malayalam very well right but but um, we are not familiar with the opposite languages so what we will do we will pick a common language which is english for us and we 
we try to communicate using that common language so that the communication will be very easy for us in the same way here also the query language and the document languages are converted into the common language which is used uh, more often or universally and that can be uh, in that way the communications can be um, uh, communications are possible or in that way the documents can be fetched okay and there is another uh, approach we'll, which we'll discuss right now so this approach generally requires huge resources okay did i read in this case the documents and the query are both translated into the same common interlingua this approach generally requires huge resources as the translation needs to be done online yes this requires a uh, huge computer resources huge processing power and everything huge so as uh, a possible solution to overcome the problem is in query and document translation is is used to use a query translation followed by snippet translation instead of document translation so you have to um, uh, remember this word snippet s n i p p it is snippet which is nothing but a one part or small part of the document so normally uh, a snippets are released uh, before a movie is released or we we call it as a trailer so snippet is nothing but it's like a trailer of a document so uh, that uh, that uh, snippet contains all almost all the information which is related to the document so instead of translating the whole document what we can do is we can translate the snippet snippet of that uh, document uh, or small extraction of that document so which makes this um uh, this problem which overcomes this problem of converting the overall document into another language so instead of converting the total document what we are doing is we are converting the snippet of that document or small abstract of that document and uh, based on that abstract the user can understand whether he is looking for that document or not if he is looking for that document then uh, he will uh, he will just pick that document so to be to keep it as uh, simple i will give you one example suppose if you are if you if, if you have planned to watch a movie in your house and um, the, you can see a feature in amazon prime or uh, some other netflix or another thing so they will play some trailers for you understand so you keep on so instead of watching the whole movie and deciding whether to watch that movie or not what you will do you will watch the snippets of that movie and you decide whether to watch that movie or not isn't it so that is what we do the same way if the user uh, is looking for a document he will not uh, look at the whole document but look at the snippet of the document which is converted into his language or into the language which is familiar with understand and decides whether to download that document or not so this is interlingua based approach so interlingua based approach is nothing but translating both query and the document and one more step here is instead of translating the whole document what we are doing here is we are only translating the snippet of the document so that the 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 task the huge task of converting or translating the document will be avoided understood so a um, snippet will give clear information about the document and the user will decide uh, whether to download the do document or not based on the information which is there in the snippet okay all right so these are the three approaches which are used to build this uh, cross language information retrieval i hope you understood today's concept if you have any doubts you can just put it on whatsapp i will try to uh, explain yeah yeah lasia